Faith has more to do than optimism. Faith is more than optimism. Faith is more than being hopeful. You know, there's people around in the room all the time. They're always optimistic and they're like, oh, yes. And they're always happy and they're bubbly and they're great cheerleaders. They got their pom-poms and they're like, yeah, you know, YMCA. And, you know, no, faith is more than optimism. Faith is a gift. However, the gift of faith is possessed by the Father. And Jesus, let's say this, the, the second set of gifts is healings working on miracles and prophecy healings working on miracles and prophecy you need faith to have healings working on miracles and prophecy faith is one of the gifts of the holy ghost which means that you need the gift of faith to enter into the things of god you need the gift of faith to enter into the things of the kingdom. You need the gift of faith to become more like God. Because God is the one who is faithful. He has faith in you. He has faith in this. He has faith in himself. He has faith in the word. Because when we have faith and when we are faithful, it means that we're actually like him. So there's times where I could feel in my spirit, I could feel in my spirit like the Lord's about to give us a check. The Lord's about to give us a $10,000 check, $20,000 check. I could feel it in my spirit. And I've already experienced this for the last two years of my life. I feel it in my spirit where the Lord drops a seed of faith. Hear me now. A seed of faith. He drops in my spirit a seed of faith. And I get a word of like, wow, I feel like the Lord's going to bless me and our ministry with a $10,000 check. And then I pray into it in the spirit. I bring it up to the Lord, to the courts of heaven. I petition it. I only give back to him what he's given me. And I bring that word to him. And I say, Lord, if this is you and your will, then I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to pray into it. I'm going to water over it with prayer and intercession. And as I lay it down, I want to see you perform the word. And then many times I'll see it happen. Uh, why? It's, it comes with faith. Childlike faith. However, once again, you may say, well, Pastor Ben, I don't have the faith for that. You have the faith for that. I don't. Well, it's because I've exercised my faith to that level. I've exercised my faith to that realm. I've exercised my faith to believe for crusades, stadiums, checks. Creating miracles, the dead to be raised. I've exercised my faith to see that. And the Lord wants to give you uncompromising faith. Unwavering faith. Faith that will see the dead raised. Faith that will see mountains move. Because even Jesus Christ himself said, With the faith of a mustard seed, you will move mountains. I'm going to bring this to a close here before I release the impartation of faith. You will move mountains. Which means faith of a mustard seed, move mountains. You hear me now? Faith is measurable. Faith is measurable. What does that mean? That means that according to your faith, it will be done. Well, Pastor Ben, that seems like it's way too much, too based on myself, on my own words. No, no. According to your faith, it will be done. Faith is measurable. Faith of a mustard seed, you will move mountains. As the Lord increases your faith in Him and in yourself, as the Lord increases that gift, you see, faith is like an engine, it's a motor. You keep turning it on. You keep putting it to work, you keep putting it to action, you keep stepping out with the faith that you have. Come on, with the faith that you have, with the measure that you have, you keep putting out. You keep moving forward with the faith that you have. And as you do it, you experience greater breakthrough and miracles in your life. Move mountains. It's a measure of faith. Measure. I'm going to bring this to a close here. Some say hallelujah. Whenever I teach about the gifts of the Spirit, I, I already kind of um, uh, began this whole message tonight on this. 
But whenever I teach on the gifts of the Spirit, I'll say that uh, gifts of the Spirit, there's nine gifts listed in 1 Corinthians 12, nine gifts. And I like to break it down by revelation of the Lord gave me. I like to break it down by uh, breaking it down into, you know, uh, the Trinity. God the Father possessing these three gifts. Jesus the Christ, the Son, Messiah possessing these three gifts, majority, mainly. And the Holy Spirit possessing these three gifts. However, the gift of faith is possessed by the Father. And Jesus, let's say this, the, the second set of gifts is healings, working of miracles, and prophecy. Healings, working of miracles, and prophecy. You need faith to have healings, working of miracles, and prophecies. You need faith. There's an order. You follow me. There's an order. That's why the first gift here is what? Wisdom, verse 7, 1 Corinthians 12, excuse me, verse 8. For the first gift is wisdom, then it's knowledge, come on, and then it's faith. Wisdom, knowledge, faith. Those are the first three gifts of the Spirit. I know somebody's learning right now. I'm sure some of you never even heard it broken down like this before. The first three gifts of the Spirit is wisdom, knowledge, and faith. And then you, and then what's built upon that trinity of those gifts is miracles, excuse me, is uh, uh, healings, working miracles, and prophecy. Oh, you better hear me now. Work, is healing, working miracles, and prophecy. See, there's an order to this. There's a reason why the Apostle Paul was inspired by the Holy Ghost, unctioned by him to write it in this way, in this order. Why are you trying to have miracles when you don't have faith? Why are you trying to have miracles when you don't have wisdom? Why are you trying to prophesy when you don't have knowledge? Why are you trying to heal when you don't have faith? The more faith you have, the more you'll be able to move in healing, Miracles and prophecy. And what is wisdom? The fear of the Lord. Unless you have wisdom, you will not have faith. Unless you have wisdom, you will not have faith. The Lord wants to mantle us in this season. I'm telling you, man, I feel a shift in the Spirit of God. Give me some hearts and likes, people of God, if you're hearing me right now. I'm going to close in prayer right now. However, I believe in this season right now, many of you are facing a challenge. Many of you are facing a Goliath. Many of you are facing a wall and that Jericho wall will come falling and crumbling down. However, the measure of faith that you used up to now will not do. It will not succeed. It will not. Uh, it is not enough to graduate you to the next level of glory. But you need more faith. You need more of the enabler, more of the an actor. You need you need to step out more. You need to walk out into new levels, into new places with the gift of the measure of faith because now you are being like him who is faithful come on now because faithfulness is righteousness in the eyes of God and it is the tangibility when you have faith it is a substance it is evidence which means that there's a deed in your hand I have a deed in my hand I have a word in my hand. God said it, so I have it. He decreed it, so it is. I have a deed in my hand. Now faith is. Now faith is materialized, tangible. It's right in the reach of my five fingers, my ten fingers. It's in the reach of my hands. I can feel it. I can sense it. I can experience it. I can smell it by the gift of faith. Now faith is. And I believe in this season right now, the Lord wants to mantle you with a greater measure of faith. And faith, he, hear me now, is authoritative. Faith is not just a power. Faith is authoritative. What does that mean? Faith takes authority over the air of doubt, criticism, cynicism, and the lack of faith, unbelief. Faith is the power of God that takes over unbelief and doubt. Faith. By faith, they overcame. By faith, they received. By faith. I believe in the season, the Lord wants us to 
move in such great power and miracles. But we need greater faith. Listen, people of God, the next six months of this year, it's going to be ridiculous. It is going to be slap your mama and your baby mama crazy ridiculous. The next six months of this year, it is going to be so unfair. It is going to be so bananas and bonkers. And it is going to be so confounding, astounding. It is going to be out of your mind, bewildering. But you need to mantle yourself with a greater level measure of faith. Because... Abraham, hear me now, Abraham heard the word, heard the call, and he paid the price because your faith level needs to match the price, needs to match the covenant. Your faith level needs to match the promise. <laughs> your faith level, Holy Ghost, Ramondo, your faith level needs to match the promise. And you want the promise, but you don't have enough faith? You want that, but you don't, you don't even believe? You want that, but all you believe in is for this little measly, teasly, weeny, teeny, tiny measure? People of God, wake up. The Christian faith believes in the supernatural. We are called to not only believe in the supernatural, but we're called to live in that reality. Remember, by the words were created the worlds. What you believe is the reality that you enter into and you inhabit. Now faith is. 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 But you need to hear what he says so that you can partner up, come into alignment, submit, subdue, be subdued under that word, that rhema, and come under that because it's the truth. And when you hear a word, you have the deed in your hand. Hypostasis, the evidence. You are going to see the evidence of what you've been praying for. You will see the materialized, tangible evidence of what you've been believing for. You will see the very thing that God has spoken to you in the secret place, in your hiding place. You will see the very things that God has prepared for you and no eye has seen. No ear has heard, no heart has fathomed. I'm telling you, people of God, I've seen so much. Even in Hawaii, the last two weeks, some of the craziest realms of words of knowledge I've operated in personally in the last six months of this year. But there's more. I'm hungry for more. I'm dissatisfied. I'm just, I need God to show up at a greater measure I've ever seen. Don't ever follow a leader that's gone comfortable in their faith. Don't ever follow a movement, a ministry. Don't ever be sitting under a teacher that only has a level of faith that you will be kept under. Then you will be imprisoned to their level of faith. You will become imprisoned and you will be kept to their level of faith. True leaders, true fathers, true mothers have faith. Now faith is. Be like Abraham. It was credited to him as righteousness. It was justified in the eyes of God. Now faith is. I know I don't have it yet. But I have the deed. I have the word. I could feel it. I could taste it. I know who I am. Remember, sowing faith. Watering faith. Reaping faith. I want to pray for you people of God. Thanks for watching. I love you all. I want to pray for you right now. Samanda, if you're feeling the power and the presence of the Lord, give me some likes and some hearts right now. God bless you. Sharababa, Prophetess Christina, God bless you. We are always carrying you in our spirit and prayer. I'm telling you guys, the things the Lord's been allowing me to preach and to teach, and not even to teach, but to demonstrate. In the last month and a half has been quite scary and confounding. Only those who have been in our local meetings and in our meetings know what I'm talking about. That's why I haven't been Facebook aliving, broadcasting anything that we're 
I'm preaching and I'm doing releasing in, a, in the meetings all around the world. But it, there's a new level, people, and I'm tired of milk. I'm tired of, of shallow. I'm tired of kiddie pool. I'm tired of the chlorine. I'm tired of the Kool-Aid. I'm tired of all this nonsense. There's so much more to this. There's so much more. And I am, and man, I'm, I've burned my ships. I've burned, and I am pressing in for the more of God. I'm pressing in to the more of Jesus. And I want to pray for you right now, because I know many of you right now, you're, you're, you feel like you're, you've hit a wall. You feel like you've, you've, you need, you need a breakthrough. And I could feel the breakthrough right now, because my, listen, listen. In meetings, I carry so much faith for people's healing and breakthrough that they don't even need faith. I have enough faith that's overflowing for people's miracles and people's breakthroughs. Hallelujah. But I could feel a shift right now. But I know many of you right now, you've been hitting a wall. You've been hitting like a cap, a ceiling. You're, and you've been crying out. You've been asking the Lord. And I know what was delivered and released right now. It's a word from God. Because He wants to mantle you with a greater measure of faith. He wants to increase your gift of faith. To step out. Believe for the unusual. The supernatural. Something that you've never seen, experienced, done before. It's childlike faith. I want to pray for you now. Lord, I pray for my friends. I pray right now. Literally, I'm shaking. I'm vibrating under the power of God right now. Lord, I pray for my friends watching right now. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will increase the gift of faith on their lives. I declare and I decree right now, the next six months of your life, the last six months of 2019, is going to be so great. However... You need to upgrade in your faith. You need to upgrade in your ability. And you need to upgrade in the endowment of heaven. Lord, I pray that you will stretch them. You will test them. Lord, I pray that you will gift them with faith to see the unusual, to see the supernatural, to see the miraculous manifest. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. I pray, Father, for your people here today. I pray that the fruit of faithfulness will manifest. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I pray for all of my friends here today. That as you decree it, it will happen. As you believe it, you will see it. As you pray into it, you will begin to feast off of it. I pray for all of my friends today. I release an impartation of faith. Catch this. Apostle Paul says to Timothy, says that, Remember the faith that you received from your mother and your grandmother Lois. Faith was imparted to Timothy from his mother and his grandmother. There's something called generational faith. Father, I pray for my friends now. Bless them and impart into them right now. The gift of faith, a greater measure of faith to move mountains in this season. I declare it, I release it now. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen.